sign that so this is the entire source code this is the entire source code so let me open that one so this is the entire source code so this one is for the test purpose this is the main file so we have this asset file and that you will have all these files so we have this css file don't need to worry about the plugin don't need to worry about the vendors the all file is right up here so all the modification you have to do in the css file that's all you can do it from here because we have designed this template in such a way actually i haven't designed this one because we have a member in our team who work in the fronted ui part and as i told you that thanks to blockchain coders and their initiative they have taken and they the support they have provided me with the financially so that's why we are able to build this team to work on these kind of project okay so that's why i'm making this video I'll talk about that soon, just wait. So you can able to control all the CSS, which is very easy. So all the CSS you will find here. Don't need to worry about the font. So if you want to add custom form, you can do that as well. But don't need to worry about, don't need to do anything if you don't know much. Here we have the images and that you will find all the images we have used. We have the, we have this about, about BG, blog, client, client, contact, demo, logo, portfolio, slider. So all of things we have here. Here we have this JavaScript file, which you don't need to worry about it again, I'm telling you. And here we have the map, which you don't need to worry about that, but you do have to know that how these files structure. In the SAS section, you will find that this code, the code we have utilized and written in the form of normal CSS, it's also available in SAS format. So if you want to use SAS, then it's good to you. Here you will find all this data, all the CSS they have written for the form of SAS. So you have these two options. You can go with the normal CSS by using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or you can use this SAS and you can use a compiler to compile it. Okay. So that's looks fine because this code is already built. So you don't need to do anything. You can go with the normal CSS. And this is the resume in that you can provide any external files. If you want allow user to download something like PDF, you can keep it here and you can simply provide the download link and they can download it. Here we have the images. So here I have attached some extra images like the background images you are going, it's moving. Actually, it's a GIF. We have the video, we have the wall. So these are the images we have. And this is the entire developer file. And the best part is that you can easily able to convert this into a into a React, React, like a React template. It's very easy to do that. So if you guys want me that how we can convert the normal HTML template to any framework like React and Next.js, then let me know in the comment section. I'll directly make a video on that. Now let me show you that how you can do the editing once you get the template. So what I will do, I'll come back, come back to our code editor and simply come here. We're going to search it and here we have the class. So this is not what we want, not in the, sorry, not in the CSS file. We have to search in the in the thumbnail, in the HTML. Once you hit enter, Okay, let me close this one and now let me open this once again and simply paste here. So this is the thumbnail. Okay, not a big deal. I can scroll down here. So let's find it out. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I'm in the wrong file. So here I have to search. So let me close this one. Okay, now I have to open this command F, paste here and hit enter. You can see this is the class we found it and here we have simply changed the image. Make sure to keep in the folder and from there you have to get it okay so this is the main directory and we have to simply go to the particular folder and from there we have to simply access the file so azan is happening but i'm not going to stop it because i hope you guys don't have any problem with this so you can see it everything is working fine here now what i will do i'll i'll come back here in the website in the application in the same way you have to replace all the content that's very easy okay you can simply over on it here you can find we have this allies and that we have this text so you can replace you can find the way i have explained you it's very easy you can easily able to change the color you can able to do all of this thing and this is the contact form i have attached you can see it's 100 percent working so all you have to do is to watch the last video and that i have show you that how you can get your own endpoint for uploading uh, attaching the contact form so i have already done that and this is the place where you have to attach the contact form. Simply open this prompt and type C-U-N-T-A-C -T -T contact. And here you will come in the contact section. Simply scroll down, you will find an area where you will find the form. So this is the contact form we have. Now I'll simply scroll all the way down because I have to go down to find it out. So it will be somewhere here. So just a moment with me. Ah. So come on, buddy. This is the front end part. 
okay this is the contacts okay i my bad it's always good that you should start with start contact because this is the this is the unique tag we have given in each one of these component okay simply grab that one and if you paste here you will be simply redirect to that okay so that's how you have to identify just pick the section and add this attach and if you want to find the contact sorry about section so do the same thing for that start about and you will be in that section so here you can see that we have all of these things and this is the contact form we have here and this is the endpoint which you have to get so this is the my unique endpoint which i'm going to leave it like like at is is which i'm going to leave it as it is because i want to provide you this entire portfolio website as functional so you guys can get it and all you have to do is to replace with your make sure to watch the last video in that i have show you that how you can get this url which you can attach and you can make a request and if you want to attach multiple fields you can do that make sure to provide this type and the name so these two things you have to provide and you can attach as many files you want so it's a very easy i hope it will not create any con the blockchain coder because here we have also listed here so come to this source code section which i will link in the description and this is the template we have provided okay so i really want to thank all of you guys those who have provided your valuable contribution so right now many of you have taken the source code and whatever contribution you guys are giving that's really helping us to build the team to build other developer who can work on the project so we can provide high quality content to all of you okay and you contribute and take the source code the link click on the link and you will come to this particular page and you can simply search for the template type d e v e l o p a developer and here you will have the template or if you can't find it come here go to the old section so this is the old section click on here click on the recent one and here you will find the recent one and you can simply fill it out okay so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video hope you guys have enjoyed it if you still have any confusion any doubt regarding anything do let me know in the comment section and thanks for all your valuable contribution many of you have personally approached me and try to give your contribution many of you have already done it without telling me so that's that's means a lot to all of you guys thank you so much once again